for you. Bingham Memorial Hospital just completed a large pandemic flu training, but if you've been around the hospital, you probably didn't even notice it. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Wes Horrocks is live in Pocatello to explain why. Wes, why didn't we notice this? Well, Todd, using a program called Play to Train, the hospital was actually able to use their, to put on their training exercise in the virtual world. Once they got into it and played it, then it was really fun, and they really, really liked it. It took a few weeks for professors at Idaho State University to build the virtual world and for hospital employees to practice using their avatars, but the training was successful. We always worry that people, will they fulfill it? Will they actually do the things that they're trained to do? Um, and in this case, they did. In fact, it worked out better than we could have ever planned. The drill simulated an outbreak of flu in Bingham County. Each person involved had their own character, and even though they were at different computers, they could communicate in real time and work together to take care of patients. Then they can actually forget about the interface and, and, and the user interaction complexities and get immersed totally in the situation. Bingham is the first hospital in the area to complete a training like this, and they're planning to do it again. There have been many people volunteering to go through the training so that they can participate in the next drill. <laughs> so, it was, so it worked out really well. By training in the virtual world, the hospital is able to practice scenarios that are normally difficult and expensive to create in real life. And even though the training is not physically hands-on, it is beneficial for emergency personnel. You've already gone through it in your brain. You already know how to do it. And you've, you've moved people and responded and reacted to situations. And it's not the same, but it's very valuable. The Play to Train program was created as part of the Idaho Bioterrorism Awareness and Preparedness Program. And professors at ISU who created the technology are already working with schools and businesses in other states to help them with similar training scenarios. Reporting live in Pocatello, Wes Horrocks, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Coming up in sports.